Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mutant Football League. Tonight is Thursday night thrashing for week 13. It is the 1st of December, 2022. I am the Mutant Football Sim League Commissioner, Andex259, commentating on this game because uh, my assistant forgot to renew Grim Blitzrose and Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr.'s contract, so we gotta go scramble to make sure they get their proper pay. But by the time we figured out that something was wrong, it was too late to bring them into the booth. So guess who has to take over the proceedings? That's right, it is me, the Sim League Commissioner himself once again. Tonight's matchup will be between the Snuffalo Thrills 7-4 versus the Nuke London Hatriots 6-5. Snuffalo Thrills are second in division with the uh, Nuke London Hatriots tied for third alongside the New York Threats. This one is going to be one hell of a barn burner. This one is definitely going to see who will start taking control of the division and who's going to send the other team back to the tank offs. We'll find out in three, two, one. And we're gonna bring you live from Flimbley Stadium in Ground Zero, London, England. Such an amazing, uh, such an amazing stadium. 90,000 capacity. Nuclear winter we got going on here. 16 landmines and three buzz saws. Oh boy. Let the let the thrashing begin. Alright, 30 tricks. Shotgun, Sonic Blast, Sticky Ball, and Ginormous for Snuffalo. Nuke London Hatriots will have the shotgun, Sonic Blast, Ginormous, and Time War. We will now proceed to the Goat Toss, which is brought to you by the Immediate Murder Professionals. For when you are a demon stuck in hell and want the living to join you, Call us at IMP. Let's go ahead and um, see what the team's captains have to say. Number 10, Smack Bones for the Nuke London Hatriots. And number 17, Mosh Slammin for the Snuffalo Thrills. Snuffalo Thrills did win the Goat Toss. And it does appear they have elected to kick off. They will defer the reception to the second half. That means Nuke London Hatriots will start the proceedings off with the ball. Gutsy Spills receives the kickoff and takes it all the way to the 39-yard line. That's where we will start the proceedings there. It will be first and 10. Sending a lot of things off really early in the game. Smack Bones tries to find a receiver, finds one in Flyers. For a gain of nine yards, it is second and one. Sending it off. Snack Bones looking for a receiver. Gets nothing as he will get sacked immediately on the play. Backing him up 13 yards. Insane Smackson will be credited with the sack. I believe that is his 14th of the season. This guy's one hell of a sacking machine. And again, it is week 13. There, there it is. They're going to try again in the uh, third down 14. Smack Bones. Looking for Kabuki, Kabuki Flyers. Gets a lot of yardage, but not enough. Ten Gain of 10 when they needed 13. It is fourth and three, and it does appear they will bring out the punting unit. Sending it out. Quake will punt it off. Oh, and they missed. Oh, almost got buzzed there. DD Crimera finally gets the ball, but it, they'll be backed up all the way to their own eight yard line in the safety danger zone. First and 10. First possession for the Snuffalo Thrills. Oh, Schlamman gets sacked in for a loss of four. That has got to be embarrassing. Rathew chew on will be credited with the first sack of the game. That's his 20th of the season. Second and 15 now. They got to really get going forward. Well, you might want to get out of that end zone real quick. Finds a receiver. Single scary. Dings the bell. That is going to be a first down. Ooh, got a little fight right there. And it'll be first and 10 once again. Devin... Oh, Devin, single scary. 
Running back taking it up. That's a good uh, gain of, I think, 12 to 13 yards. They'll take it up to their own 33. It is first and 10. Mosh Lamon receives the ball. Looking for a receiver. Oh, and it's dropped. What happened there? Oh, that guy's really going to be kicking himself. I think it was number 14 that was the intended receiver. And completely dropped the ball there, literally. Devin Singlescary will receive the run. Ooh, gets smacked right back behind the yellow line. They're going to be a yard short, 31. Yep, one full yard short of the first down line. Third down. Nosh Lamin pulls out a shotgun. Oh, that's so easy. And he picks up the first down. I mean, we got casket-shaped buckets as well. Number 31 and number 91, both dead for the Nuke London Hatreds. No one dead from the Snufflow Thrills. Don't forget, if you are playing um, Dead Mutant Bingo, tonight's jackpot is $20,000. Lots of money to be won. And plenty of Brexel stadiums to build with that kind of money. Anyway, Bosch Lamon takes it up the field himself. And gets a first down. Unbelievable play. That will now take things to the opposing 44-yard line. Sending it up to Devlin Singlescary, the running back. A gain of seven yards. Snufflo Thrill's doing pretty damn good. I guess that's why they are seven wins, four losses this season. Mosh and the quarterback, look for a receiver. They find one, and... Teflon Riggs! Unbelievable! Oh, look out! That almost set off a uh, landmine. But Teflon Riggs will pick up the first down. Amazing. It is now first and goal. Ball on the opposing six-yard line. They are now in the red zone. Devlin single scary. Trying to run it into the touchdown. But gets stomped right there. Ooh, number eight is going to be credited with that tackle there. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Snuffalo Thrills looking to draw first blood. Bosch Lamin gets sacked on the play. No chance in hell for that. It is third and goal. Ball on the 13. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's Smack right. Kilson, hey. second tackle of the game, first sack of the game. That is his 18th of the season. One thirty-nine. To go, Ace beat him. The quarterback sends it over to Devlin Single Scary, and gets ooh smacked right before the four. They are four yards short of the touchdown. No additional first down opportunities available. They may have to send out the field goal unit, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Snaps the ball, and they will draw first blood with a three-point field goal. It is 3-0 in favor of the Snuffalo Thrills with 103 left in the opening quarter. They'll kick it off. Once again, gutsy spills to return. Gets good distance past 35. Uh-oh. That's almost a set off of the landmines. As you can see, the little blinking lights on the field, that's where the landmines are placed. You want to avoid that at all times. Oh, number 77, Lamont Brown is dead. I wonder how that happened. Probably got buzzed. Probably missed the buzz saw. There is a buzz saw on the field. Anyway, we'll start the proceedings at their own 37-yard line. It is first and 10. And tries handing it off to a running back. Backs up two yards. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 35. Sending it off. Smack Bones looking for a receiver. Oh, that was easy. They find a running back, Demon Nefarious, and that's an easy first down all the way now down to the opposing 31-yard line. Well, they don't call it world-class football for nothing, and this is literally world-class. There's one from New York and one from England. Snapping it. Oh, smack. Oh, no. It looks like a sticky ball dirty trick was applied, and Smack Bones can't get rid of it. That's going to count as a uh, sack, and that will do it for the first quarter. Snufflow Thrills 
leading this defensive contest three points to nil as we go to our quarter break sponsor visiting Ohio. Just why? We will now begin the second quarter of play. These are the remaining rosters that you just saw on the screen. Second down, 16 yards to go. Teams have switched ends. Demon Nefarious gets a great gain of nine yards. Still short of the first down. It will be third down, three yards to go. 6.33 left, 6.43, excuse me, left in the second quarter. And, of course, counting down. Now it is 6.33. Taking their time, snapping that ball. Smack Bones, looking for a receiver, finds one in Demon Nefarious. Oh, almost. That was so close to the landmine. Nobody died on that play, so we will proceed forward. A first down was declared. They are now in the red zone. And, oh, my goodness, we got a fumble on the play. The offense will recover. It is second and seven. Snuffalo thrills, three, Nuke London, zero. Second and seven, ball on the 13. Smack Bones, looking for a receiver. Finds one in Gritterson, and that will be a touchdown for the Nuke London Hatriots. No bullshit penalty on the play, so the touchdown will stick. Excuse me a second, I had a uh, thing of root beer before doing this. Also, apparently, uh, Nuke London also tends to have uh, tons of pollen and allergens, so if I sneeze during the broadcast, uh, yeah, blame Nuke London's uh, guard. Anyway, the extra point is good. That'll now make it 7-3 in favor of the Nuke London Hatriots. Snufflow Thrills will now receive the kickoff. Ball's been sent. To return will be Didi Kramira. Taking it all the way to their own 37-yard line to start the proceedings. It is first and 10. Snuffalo thrills. Mosh Lehman to receive the snap. Teflon Riggs receives the ball from a pass. Nice go, and that'll take it all the way to the opposing 36-yard uh, line. It is first and 10 once again. Mosh Lamin is injured and is going to have to head to the sidelines for the time being. Oh, I don't know what happened, but number eight, Jawamp Stanchley is dead. What happened there? It is first and ten. And they will immediately send it to Devlin Single Scary and ding the bell. That's another first down. First and 10. Ball on their opposing 25. They are just outside the red zone. 4.55 left to go in the second quarter. Ace beat him. Looking for a receiver. Might find one. Oh, that is got to be a nice catch for a touchdown. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's going to have to go back. We got a bullshit penalty. Let's see what kind of excuse the referee is going to come up with. Good God Almighty, what the hell kind of bullshit penalty is that? Obviously, that's going to result in the uh, referee trying to get attacked and killed, and that is exactly the case. And that will back up the uh, Snufflow Thrills another uh, 15 yards. Izzy always for sale. Number 73 of the ref squad is now taking over proceedings. First and 35, ball literally at midfield. A speed, I'm looking for a receiver. Finds one in Teflon Riggs and takes it down. For a gain of 20 yards, it is second down, 15 yards to go. Let's see what A speed will do here. We'll try to find a receiver. Finds one in Devlin, single scary. And now it's going to be first and goal. They are finally back into the red zone. Hopefully, the Snuffalo Thrills will get a touchdown after this one. Let's see. First and goal, ball on the nine. Bosch Lamin receives the snap. Oh, that's a sonic boom, plus a gin ginormous dirty trick from the other side. And that has got to be an easy touchdown. And since the uh, bribe ref um, dirty trick was already used for the half, 
They don't have to worry about another bullshit penalty. So they, this time the six points will stick on the board. Mosh Lamin, once again injured. So let's see what the uh, Snuffalo Thrills will do here. It is nine and seven. Nine to seven, it's about to be 10 to seven. The extra point is good as always. Very difficult to mess up these uh, extra point attempts, but I have seen it happen before. Anyway, kick is now going to be off. Gutsy spills to receive the kick. 230, 240, uh-oh. Oh my! Oh, look at how close that was to the landmine. Unfortunately, that did not go off. So, if you are a big fan of gut, blood and guts, you will be very disappointed. Smack Bones, quarterback, sending it over to Demon Nefarious. And that is another first down on the play. And I don't know what happened there, but Savante Shocker, wide receiver num two, number one for the uh, New London Patriots, is dead. That is quite the interesting, and lots of people are very upset because nobody got number one on the Dead Mutant Bingo Pro card? That's quite weird. Anyway, um, a two-yard loss after a botched run play will send it um, second and 12. Ball on the opposing 47. Duke London Patriots have the ball. Smack Bones sending it over to Kabuki Flyers, and that has got to be a the easiest first down ever. At least in comparison to most other plays in mutant football. Now we go to first and ten. Ball on the 18 and we got Smack Bones with a shotgun. Oh, number 43 was able to get a hold of the side. Feral Hellhound managed to sneak on by and managed to uh, take out Smack Bones. Whilst avoiding the shotgun. Nice sneak play. Oh no! Von Killer is dead. Dead and gone. Number 40 of the Snuffalo Thrills. Oh boy, boy. The Thrills Mafia is not going to be happy about this one. Demon Nefarious. Gets nine yards on the play. Ball will be placed on the nine yard line. It is third down, one yard to go. Smack Bones receives the snap, sends it over to the receiver, and that is a touchdown. New London Patriots. No bullshit penalty. The touchdown will stick. Hell sent Strangler credited with that touchdown pass, eight and a half yards. Yes, he has. I believe that was his 16th touchdown of the season for that guy. That's amazing work. Anyway, extra point attempt. Snap, kick, and through the uprights over the crossbar. It is good. Nuked London Patriots now have a 14 to 10 lead. This has been a uh, back and forth contest so far. 151 left in the second quarter. DD Chimera will turn the ball and will take it to the uh, to their own 36 yard line. Number two, Talon Kills of the Nuke London Patriots is dead. And apparently nobody got number two on their bingo cards. What in the world? What kind of bingo cards were you guys selecting this year? Or at least this game. Yeah, a lot of people were not selecting the right numbers to add to their bingo cards. Anyway, Devlin Singlescary receives the pass. And that's an easy first down right there. Onto the opposing 39, and a timeout has now been called by the Snuffalo Thrills. They have two remaining. 125 left in the second quarter, first and 10. Mosh Lamin sends it over. Devlin single scary. Oh, and that is just noise. Noise, noise, noise. First and 10, ball on the opposing 25. A second timeout has been taken by the Snuffalo Thrills. They have one timeout remaining. 111 left in the second quarter. Osh Lamin sends it on over to, I believe, number 14, but it got deflected. 
That's got to be unfortunate. Second and 10. Ball once again on the 25. Mosh Lamin. Sending it over to number 14, who catches it this time and picks up an additional six points. And once again, we have a lead change. The Snuffalo Thrills now up 16 to 14 with an opportunity to go up an additional point. Oh, time. Oh, that is a dirty time warp trick. Oh, that's such dirty. And that six points has been removed. They're going to have to redo the play. Second and 10 ball on the 25. Mosh slamming. It's going to try this one again, and this time, oh, number 14 botched it. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Third and 10. The hurry-up offense has been activated. Come on, stuff low. Mosh Lamin. Sending it over to Devlin. Single scary. Oh, fights off number nine, but oh, oh, stepped on a landmine and Devlin single scary is dead and gone. Number 26, oh my goodness. And that will also take out number nine, Matthew Chuan, and number 21, Adrian Trilltips of the Nuke London Hatriots. That was very unexpected, and that's exactly what you should expect in the MFL. The unexpected home. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise there. So now Snuffalo Thrills is going to have to learn to adapt. Let's see if they can try and get number 14 to catch. Or 13 in that matter, who dropped, who deflected the ball. Number 13, the werewolf on the, on the Snuffalo Thrills. You're not on defense. Catch the ball. Anyway, Mosh Lamin takes the snap. He's going to try it again with number 13. And finally picks up the memo. And finally getting the touchdown to stick and with no time warp dirty trick. And no uh, bribe ref available for the new London, London, London Hatriots. Ugh. My words are getting a little twisted today. Yeah, I did not expect to uh, be calling this game uh, until literally 30 minutes before game time. Yeah, my um, office staff is a bunch of low cows right now. <laughs> anyway, the kick is good. The Snuffalo Thrills go up 17 to 14 against the Nuke London Hatriots. Gutsy spills. Oh, almost got buzzed there. And gets taken down at their own 34 yard line with 13 seconds left to go in the first half. Let's see what they will do here. Smack Bolt is taken down for a sack. Oh, and it, it, I am not sure if they want to use the timeout. Eight seconds to go. Dear Killam credited with that sack. And it looks like they are not taking a timeout, so that will officially do it for halftime. Snuffalo Thrills are leading this game going into the locker room 17 to 14. Your halftime stats is brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. They make genetically altered Franken food that you'll have the greatest time of your life trying to identify. Mine was a cross between sugar beets and human flesh. What about y'all? Anyway, let's see what the uh, team captains have to say going into the uh, second half. You know, another strategy y'all could try and do is step on the landmines. <laughs> I mean, we got 16 of them, and we've only seen one of them go off. Anyway, DD Kamira is received the ball and is going to take it to the team's own 37-yard line. Snuffalo Thrills did receive the second half kickoff. And these are the remaining players left on the rosters. Flames Crook is taken down for a gain of six. It is second and four, ball on the 42-yard line. Snuffalo Thrills. Sends it over to Flames Crook. Oh, look out. And is taken down. First down. First and ten. They have now moved the ball to the opposing 43-yard line. Nuke London Hatriots. 
really, really under stress right now. Oh, Mosh Lehman finds a receiver, finds it in Slabriel Gravis. And another first down with six minutes to go left in quarter number three. Snuffalo Thrills are now in the red zone and could possibly hit the end zone very, very, very soon. Mosh Lehman receives the snap. Passes it over to Slabrio Gravis, number 13, and gets in a touchdown. No bullshit penalty, but New London Hatreds do have the time warp dirty trick. Let's see if they will utilize it. Slabrio Gravis really showing things off. Oh, time warp dirty trick not used. Okay, very interesting. So... Hopefully with the completion of this extra point attempt, which does happen. Snuffalo Thrills now with a 10-point lead, which could be two possessions. 5.35 left in the third quarter. Snuffalo Thrills kicking it off to the New London Hatriots. Dutsy spills to receive. And we'll take it to the 35 and is slammed down directly right there. They'll start the proceedings there. Number 71, Primal Obendu. Oh my goodness, is dead and gone. Must have hit the buzzsaw. All right, it is once again first and 10. Mac Bones, the quarterback. Oh, gets his neck twisted for a 12 yard sack. Tommy Gunn. Unbelievable sack by him. That's the second tackle of the game, first sack of the game. And his seventh of the season. He hasn't gotten a lot of sacks for his team, but when he does, oh boy, they're devastating. Smack Bones looks for a receiver, finds it, and flyers, and they're going to send out a measurement sticks. Just enough. First down, fall on their own 45. Let's see what they will do here. Demon Nefarious. Receives the ball and oh my god, come <laughs> dude, he's number 43 has had a hold of Demon Nefarious's wings for the past 20 yards. Oh, it looks like we got a bullshit penalty on the Nuke London Hatriots for the fish. Oh, that is a bullshit penalty. Time to kill the ref, and that will undo that 20 yard gain. Oh, 91 dead Trolliver is uh, dead and gone. Don't know what happened there. Probably met the saw. Anyway, another ref attack at... Oh, no. you got to be kidding. Oh! <laughs> they missed. They missed. New London Hatriots. Oh. Oh, New London Hatriots missed. And they're going to be backed up. And they're going to have to try it again because the same bright ref is there. Oh, man. Okay, ref attack. There we go. And that's going to back him up, I think, either 15 yards or half the distance to the goal line. Uh, yep. And now Jimmy the Weasel Fastbuck will be the new uh, referee on the play. And it's first and 45. Good luck. Good freaking luck. Anyway, Smack Bones. Ooh, stepped well into the end zone and gets sacked on the play. On the two-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Nuke London Hatriots. They're backed all the way up. Woo. One more quarterback sack, and that's going to possibly be a safety. Smack Bones. Oh, trying to find a receiver. Finds one in Envy Hunter. They gain a good much. 22 yards, but it's nowhere near enough for the first down. It is third down. And wait for it, 30 yards to go. Backbones. Ooh, another quarterback sack, number 94. Tommy Gunn. Sack, third tackle, second sack. There's just no way. Fourth and 39, and they're just going to have to say F it and bring out the uh, punting unit. Let's see how they do here. Smack, but oh no! They didn't bring out the punting unit. They're gonna try and go for it? Oh, that was just. Oh, wait. Bullshit. Ah! A bullshit penalty. Oh, you're trying to. 
Oh, you're trying to accuse the Snuffalo Thrills of playing under the influence of drugs and alcohol. That's the spirit of the game. Anyway, ref attack. That's going to move Nuke London Hatriots up 15 yards. Great use of the bribe ref in the, um, the dirty trick. And now Eddie Money Spaghetti is going to take over proceedings for the officiating. Fourth and 14, ball on their own 42. They still will have to bring out the punting unit. Let's see how they do here. Quake Scaly sends out the ball. DD Crime. Oh, almost got buzzed on that play. Oh, let's see. DD Crimera. Oh, lots of buzzings on the play. And will be taken down at the 35-yard line. Opposing 35-yard line. That's where they'll start the proceedings for the next possession. First and 10. Ah, Schlamm. And don't forget, the Time Warp Dirty Trick appears to be in effect. Because it has not been used so far in the second half. Meanwhile, oh my goodness, Mosh Lammon gets slammed to the ground for a 13-yard loss. Ouch. Just ouch. Second and 23. We'll go through here. Mosh Lammon looking for his receiver. Finds one in Flames Crook. Not going to be enough. They're going to be five yards short of the yellow line. Third down, five yards to go. 2.22 left in the third quarter. Snap the ball to Mosh Lammon. And oh my. <laughs> oh, we got sacks and sacks and sacks galore. What you got? We got sacks on sacks on sacks. Paper sacks, plastic sacks, canvas sacks. You name it, we got sacks. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. They are going to have to send out the punting unit. Sam Martian sends it off. It looks like it'll go out of bounds. I was wrong. And it'll be down at the 20. Not a lot of landmines setting off, but a lot of players have been buzzed. With the buzz saw. Smack Bones. Sees the snap. Looks for a receiver. Finds one in Kabuki. Flyers. Only five yards gained on the play. They take it to their own 25. It is second down. Five yards to go. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Let's see how this translates. Smack Bones. Oh, going to take it up the field himself. Oh, and it's going to eat some uh, elbows and knees as retribution for that. But it's still a first down. Duke London Hatriots really need to get something going. They are down by 10 points. Smack Bones looking for a receiver. Might find one. Well, would have found one if he hasn't dropped the freaking ball. Incomplete pass, second and 10. Ball on their own, 36. And they, this time they're going to send it to Demon Affair. Oh, I think someone just got buzzed. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, one of the players definitely got buzzed. I think it was number 43, Feral Harrowhound. You saw it right there. Got buzzed right near the crotch area. Oh, man, that would have hurt. Oh, good. Oh, man, it's such a good thing I am up in my uh, luxury booth here at uh, Flemley Stadium and not down there. Oh, looks like there's a ginormous dirty trick. Oh! Oh, we got a boomer! Oh, number 49 and number 23, both mega stars of the game, and both dead and gone. Demon Nefarious, bye bye! Oh, you just love to see it here in the MFL. Finally, some explosions going. Three seconds to go left in the third quarter, and we're gonna take a quarter break. The three quarter break is brought to you by visiting. It doesn't even have the state's name on it. Looks like somebody forgot to leave that blank. Anyway, ah, screw it. We're in the fourth quarter. Ramondre Griffsterson, the running back for this team. That has got to be the slowest running play I've ever seen. That's more like a more, more like a walking play, if you ask me. But apparently it's enough to get the first down. Smackdown sends it over to Ramondre Grifterson. And only a gain of two on the play. Let's see what 
will do here. Back bones. Receives a snap. Sends it over to Ramondre Grifterson. This time going a little faster, but only picks up seven on the play. It is third down, one yard to go. 6.02 left in the fourth quarter. Smack Bones gets sacked on the play for a huge loss. 13 yards on the play. Fourth and 14. Duke London Hatriots may send out a field goal unit, although I guess they would want to try and uh, go all the way for the touchdown. Let's see what they want to do here. They're going for it. On fourth down, they may use the time warp dirty trick. Ramondre Grifterson. Oh! Smacked right there. Oh, it just missed the landmine. It is a first and goal. Obviously, no point in using the time warp dirty trick. Five minutes, 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Clock is running down. Ramondre Grifterson. Taking it all the way to the three, but gets stopped right there. Second and goal. Oh boy, the defense is going to be super heavy on this drive. They need to be. Smack Bones might find a receiver, finds it to Ramondre Grifterson, and that's just enough for the touchdown. No bullshit penalty, and the Snuffalo Thrills do not have a time warp, so the six points will stick, and the New London Hatriots will be down by just four now, and possibly three if they make the extra point. See what kind of play they will try here. Oh, they're not going to go for the extra point. They're going to go for two. Ooh, this is going to be quite the interesting. Let's see how they do it here. Smack bones. Oh, that was just too... Come, come on, man. That was... That's too easy. That was just way too easy. Smack bones picking up two more points. Now, the Nuke London uh, Hatriots fans are fans of any other MFL team for that matter, they tend to get really ravenous. Especially when the, their team starts making scores. Anyway, they're going to kick it off to uh, Snuffalo Thrills. Didi Kamira to receive the return. Oh! Gets uppercutted in the chin right there by number 59. They will start the proceedings at their own 37. It is first and 10. Oh, it looks like a ginormous dirty trick. Teflon Riggs. Oh, tells him where to go. And that is down. It is still a first down, though, and they are now on the opposing side of the field. Opposing number 47. Oh, pulls out the shotgun. Oh, and is getting very murderous. But his massacre spree does not get him a lot of moves as he only picked up two on the play. Number 28, Flames Crook, the running back, is dead, probably due to a buzzsaw. But Mosh Lamin did get Smack Killison and Glorence D, or die. Whichever, they're dead and gone. Nobody's gotten bingo yet, which means the jackpot is likely going to carry over. Mosh Lamin sends it on over to Slabriel Gravis. Slam down for the first down. Nice gain of yardage on the play. Dying greats, number 71 of the Snuffalo Thrills, dead and gone. We have 336 left in the game. Snuffalo Thrills would like to get some points on the board to keep it a two possession game. Smack cross. Gets thrown over the shoulder and down to the ground on the six yard line. It is first and goal. I would run down as much clock as I can. Mosh Lamb. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. He got. Oh, man. He got his bell rung. That is going to be a sack. Loss of 12 on that. Second and goal ball on the 18. Still in the red zone, though. See what they'll do here. Mosh Lamb looking for a receiver. Sends it over to Smack Cross. Oh, and that was easy. But the Time Warp Dirty Trick is still active. I haven't seen it used this uh, this half. Let's see if they'll use it now. I would recommend doing that. Let's see. Wait for it. 
Oh, they didn't, they're not using it? Hmm. What's the Nuke London Hatriots uh, trying here? Anyway, extra point attempt is good. And now it's a nine point game. Snufflow thrills up 31 to 22. They will kick off to the Nuke London Hatriots. Kicking it off now. Two gutsy spills. And it's taken down at the 35 yard line. They'll start the proceedings there. 2.37 left in the game. Nuke London is down by nine points. They'll need two possessions to win. Smack Bones now with a shotgun of his own. Let's see how many players he can knock out with this play. Oh, and this one was much more productive than the last time. Definitely pulled up some huge yardage, I believe. Uh, 14 yards. Yep, you're up right, Smack Bones. The murder train's got no breaks. Number 92, Daquan Bones is then gone. He only took out one? I swore he took out more than that. I guess they were just injured. Or they live. Anyway. Smack Bones. Sees the ball. Looking for a quarter. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he went for the Sonic Boom dirty trick, but somebody played a sturdy, sticky ball, and I bet it was Brett Colano. Fourth tackle, first sack. That's his eighth of the season. Dair Keelum, number 24, is injured. Going to have to head back to the sidelines. Second and 11 after that. Oh, my goodness, play. Let's see what he will do here. Smack Bones. Sends it off to Ramondre Gretchen. Ooh, that was so close. Do we have a do we have an explosion? No? Well, that was disappointing. Anyway, Nuke London Hatriots call a timeout. They're down by nine. It is one 138 left in the game. Nuke London Hatriots, you need to get something going real quickly. Things are not looking up in your favor. Smack bones. Trying to find a receiver. Oh my god, there was nobody there. Well, I don't know what the hell was that. That was probably my cell phone letting me know a weather alert has occurred. Anyway, Smack Bones. Oh my god, he is angry after that player. And again! That is the second dropped pass in a row. Oh my. No, 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 mate. No, mate. Smack Bones is going to try this one again. Oh, he is going to be strangling that guy for the next week. Oh, uh, if, of course, the coach hasn't gotten to him first, looks like he is sharpening his uh, machete there. Oh, boy. Boy, I do not want to be that guy continuously dropping that pass. Or oh, the fans, it looks like they're throwing fireworks on the field trying to hit that guy. The Buki Flyers finally catches it. But is it too little too late? That is his third, four, uh, yeah, third drop of the game. Ramondre Griff, what happened? Ramondre Grifterson must have been buzzed on that last play. Oh my goodness. Timeout called by the New London Hatriots. First and goal, ball on the seven. Hurry up offense has been activated. Smack Bones. Look for a receiver. Oh, and finally gets in a catch. Touchdown. And it looks like the Nuke London Hatriots will try to go for two to get the lead as close as possible. I will do you one better, Sly. I will bring you 20 kicks. Anyway, they set up for the extra point. Looks like they're not going to go for two this time. Let's see what they'll do here. Easy one point there. It was kind of next to impossible for y'all to uh, mess that one up. Anyway, 44 seconds left in the game. It looks like they're going to go for an onside kick. Oh, they might win it. Nope, smack cross. Picks it up for the Snuffalo Thrills. 41 seconds left in the game. Nuke London Hatriots with only one timeout left. Osh Lamin. It's just going to take a sack. He's okay with it because that would potentially run down the clock or force the Hatriots 
to burn their last timeout, which I believe is going to be the case. There it is. Nuke, Nuke London Hatriots pull their last timeout. They have none remaining. 35 seconds left in the game. Mosh slamming. Looking for a receiver. Why'd you pass it? Just run it. Oh my goodness. Why did you pass it? Just run it. Oh, 30-14. Ball on the opposing 48. Mosh slamming. Dude, run the ball. Why are you passing it? Teflon Regs, at least they get taken down and run the clock down. 17 seconds left. This game is going to be officially... Why did you take a timeout? Just run down the clock. You're the team in the lead. What? What are you doing? Okay, so apparently they want to show off and kick a five-pointer? Did, did they make it? Uh, yes, they did. They show off a five-point... I mean, I get this is the Mutant Football League and sportsmanship is for um, wimpies. But come on! Just run the damn clock down. Four seconds left. That is just embarrassing. Oh, it's not like the Nuke London Hatriots is going to return this all the way for the touchdown. Yep, clocks hit the uh, quadruple zeros. And that will officially do it. The Snuffalo Thrills advance to eight and four. They win tonight's Thursday night thrashing. Final score 36 to 29. Nuke London Hatriots. Falling down to six and six. This has not been their season to dominate. And once again, they remain at the bottom of their division and may no longer be tied with the threats for third if the threats win their game. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end of game stats is brought to you by your friends at the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every other time. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Andex259. Y'all have been Mutant Football League fans and viewers watching the game. We will see you guys next time for some Friday Night Fight Ball. Hopefully by then, we will get the contracts renewed for Grib, Blitz, and Brooks Jr. Anyway, till then, bye-bye.